Hey folks, I love 3D printing, and you can see my third and fourth printers here behind me, but I've always had this nagging feeling. Is it safe to inhale melting filament fumes? One of the reasons why I bought the Bamboo Lab is because it's totally enclosed, and they use a charcoal filter for exhausting the system. But after doing some research, I discovered that this charcoal filter does not capture particles. It's good for fumes and odors, but it will not capture particles. I mean, if you shake it, you can move the charcoal around inside of this thing. So of course I did some research to find out what other people were doing to protect themselves from filament fumes and particles and I did not find anything that I liked. So I started researching the types of filters that are available that I might be able to incorporate into the printer. Before going any further, I decided that I would test the efficiency of the fan to see how well it could actually move air. Once I was satisfied that the fan could move air, I started researching filters and I ended up selecting a HEPA filter that was readily available on Amazon at a reasonable price with good reviews that could filter particles down to 0.3 of a micron. So after doing some research, I ended up selecting this HEPA filter on Amazon that is very, very reasonably priced. The links are in the description below, but this is a fairly large HEPA filter that has the activated charcoal on the one side and then it has the paper filter on the other side and this is what is going to capture the particles. Depending upon how many hours you use your printer is going to determine how often you need to change this but my intentions are to change it every six months. After taking a bunch of measurements I went and I created a design that would house the filter and as you can see on the back here I'm using velcro to keep it attached to the back of the printer I'll show it in place in position in just a moment but I also left an opening here to allow access to the power cord and the power switch but this filter has a foam sealing ring around the exterior so that it ensures that we're going to be forcing the air through the charcoal and then through the paper outwards. So it's as simple as just taking it and dropping it into the housing that I designed and now I'll take it and I'll go and show you this sitting in place. The files will be in the descriptions for both the filters and the file for printing the housing. It'll be available on Maker World. So here we are over at the back of the printer. I've already added the Velcro to the back of the printer around the fan and I trimmed the Velcro so as not to cover up the screws just in case I ever need to do any maintenance. Anyways, the uh, Velcro I have lots of spare length available so if I ever needed to peel it for whatever reason I can easily reinstall it. It is extremely sticky so it really works well to hold the fan in place. So as I mentioned now here we are with the housing the cord I can lift it over and just slide it through and now I'm just going to push it right up against the back of the printer the velcro is now intact I have access to the power switch easily I have access to be able to pull the plug in and out if I need to I can easily detach the whole filter from the printer if I need or and or want to. I still left enough room to be able to use the poop chute and the filter at the same time. So you're going to be able to see that the fan is still blowing, it's a dryer sheet, it's still blowing the dryer sheet so I know that it's working, it's removing air from the chamber. And just as an FYI, I printed this whole Spider-Man mask in PLA F. So the F means that it's got 15% ABS in the uh, PLA and it's not necessarily safe to be inhaling uh, the fumes from ABS so I used that filter managed to print this whole spider-man mask uh, I mean it's extra large fits on my fat noggin during the print I would periodically check to make sure that it was still blowing air through the filter and although the air was just mildly warm the print came out fantastic I mean this is awesome. 
Anyways, all the links are in the description below for the file for the, the filter holder, the filter itself, and any Velcro that you need in order to be able to attach. I'd be curious to know what other people have done and what you think of this idea. Just as an FYI, this Deadpool mask was printed from PLAF as well. Check that out. Thanks for watching and happy printing.